As far as riding at night, let's talk about riding at night. You can ride at night in certain situations and safe situations where there's a lot of street lights, a lot of activity. Um, <clears throat> But uh, here's the thing you need to know about riding at night. You want to have really good lights. If you have really good lights, you actually are more safe than when you ride during the day because these lights are really visible now. I have a, a 550 and also an 800 lumen headlight, and those things are super bright. You can see them flashing on signs hundreds of feet, feet away, hundreds of feet. Uh, so um, they're really bright. The tail light's really bright at night. Actually, even like I said, even more visible than during the day. So I think you're actually safer at night a lot of times. Oh, I also want to talk a little bit about clothing as far as masks. Now they have these balaclava or sports masks that come, you know, just show your eyes. I actually bought one of these because I wanted to um, take care of the, the sun from hitting me. But actually I started using it at night because it also keeps you really warm. You know, your head loses a lot of heat. And it's really cool to have that mask on. It feels a little weird at first. You feel kind of funny wearing this ridiculous mask. But if you can get over the social shame, uh, it's worth it in the long run. Something I do, I, I call these like suspicious movements or odd movements. If you're on the road at night and you're not sure if someone sees you, you're looking in your rearview mirror, you're not sure if a car is coming up behind you that sees you, I do a, like kind of a suspicious move into the middle of the lane. And if they kind of react, then you know they see you. Just a little, little secret. Um, if they don't, then I'm really careful in case they don't see me. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just like with riding in, in the rain, you want to have the clear glasses with the rear view mirror. Uh, you want to always have, if you're riding at night, you got to really beef up the security if you leave it somewhere. you got to lock that the heck out of that thing. Get some good locks, get some U-locks, some big fat chain locks. Really lock the heck out of it or keep it in your sight. What applies to riding at night and in the rain? Well, the number one thing is C and be seen. You've gotta see what's going on, you gotta have bright lights, and you gotta have lights that they can see. <clears throat> That's the most important thing. The other thing is, make sure to assert yourself in the lane, the lane of traffic. Again, if there's not room on the side, you have to really be seen, because otherwise, in the middle of the night, you don't see potholes, you don't see something, you don't see a car door opening. You gotta get out in the middle of the lane. You gotta have those bright lights so they see you, bright clothing, and just be seen. I can't believe when I see, sometimes I see people riding around in dark clothes, it's like, are you kidding me? Are you just wanting to get hit? Um, the other thing is, you know, you also at night and in the rain, you want to slow down a little bit. You know, slow down, make sure you're seeing all the potholes, make sure uh, you allow extra time. You don't want, you won't be able to, you know, kind of race to catch lights and things as much. Um, so you have to really allow for some extra time. Like I said, just always start small, start during the day in the sunshine, short trips, safe roads, and kind of work up from there. And before you know it, you'll be like me, You'll be coming home at 2 in the morning in the middle of the night in the rain. <laughs>